The difference is you were stoned for most of the years and I was drunk for most of the years. So together, we're gonna figure this out. I'm Pete. And I'm Dave. And we are the co-founders of Grey Dog. Uh, honestly, up until COVID, kind of thought that we saw everything. Oh, man, was I wrong. This morning, the death toll in New York State is nearing 1,000. And this is a responsibility for everybody in the country to help us pull through. So, so stay the F home. Exactly. Take your head off to the young, because they have a hell of an immune system. But it affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. Our goal right now is to outlast the virus. If we can outlast that, we want to become first the best five restaurants that we can be, and then go back into growth mode and maintain the level of charm and family and neighborhood that we've created over the last 23 years. You know, when we started this, we, we didn't really, we didn't have a game plan. And I think if we have a game plan now, it's definitely to run a more socially responsible restaurant. I think we both have visions of being pioneers in certain areas of pushing the world to be better. You know, I don't know how much two dudes can accomplish, but I would like to say at the end of this that I left this place better than I found it. In a world that's being divided and pulled apart, I realized, holy cow, we have a vehicle in these restaurants that actually can bring people together and make people better. And it, it dawned on me that, you know, Grey Dog is a place to convene and elevate. And when I say elevate, it means elevating our communities, elevating our staff and giving them the say, giving them the word, giving them a place to get together and do good things. Our role in the community going forward, I see as a creating a social, you know, a social model where you can be who you want to be. We will let you exist how you want to exist in the space that you've chosen to exist in without coming to you and trying to move you along. I think that people really value that about what we do. But you gotta listen to our music, because we got great music. I don't think anybody really does what we do just because we've been able to keep corporate over there and keep fun over here. You walk in and you see people really loving where they are, and that makes, that makes it good for everybody. What we focused on was our staff. We never created a divide between ownership and the staff. We put all our energy into building a team. I, I don't think anybody ever moved to New York to work at Grey Dog. Um, one guy. One guy. Who? Harris. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I relied heavily on my relationship with Pete. It, it, somehow we, we translated the act of playing wiffle ball in a backyard to building a restaurant team and building this little ball club that we called Grey Dog. Um, but it was always with the same childish mentality that I'm still playing in the backyard with my brother. I'm proud of what we put on our table right now. I think everything that we're putting out there is really good. I'm not sure whether we're a comfort food or a healthy food place, but I know that there's somewhere in the middle is where we have to end up. I mean, we have professionals that are slaying it with what we're doing um, with our food. This is Marina, who is going to take us into the next level of Grey Dog in terms of the culinary experience. The thing I like most about the Grey Dog menu is a lot like the Grey Dog, it has something for everybody. We have offerings for vegans that I think you might not even find such in interesting offerings around the city. We value a little something for everybody. He's going to tell you that the aesthetics are all me, and I'm going to tell you that they're not all me. It's definitely a collaboration of, you know, just the style that we appreciate. Um, it's eclectic. It's 
strewn together of just kind of, ooh, this will look good over there, you know, whatever. It's, it's comforting. If you want to talk about the tables, the, the tables are all me. The tables are one of the passions, and if, if I had to move on from Grey Dog and start another chapter in my life, it's going to be about the tables. Beach tables are mostly maps, and every table is different. There's a story at every table. I've witnessed so many people who are awkward, and they're having, they're sitting at a table, and they're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the conversation is, well, let's talk about the table because people run out of shit to say. And when you're sitting at this, you know, now you're like, oh, look at this. This looks blah blah blah. I've been here. You know, oh my God, I know somebody there and. There's a whole life that takes place that doesn't happen anywhere else. Keep up the fight. Yeah, don't, don't give up. That's lame. Um, don't do stupid things. That's my, you know what? That's it. Don't do stupid things. That's my words of inspiration. Yeah, and vote. Yeah, just just vote. We got we got to make change. Gray Dog's doing its best to make change. We're we're working in a direction. If we're all pushing in the same direction, then we got we could accomplish some amazing things.